So now, here if you'll observe, as we know that liquid does not have a fixed shape because the positions of the particles are not fixed due to less strong forces of attraction between them. Understand? So that is why a liquid takes the shape of its container because the particles of a liquid can slide over one another easily. Understand? So that is why if you keep in a different containers which is having different shapes, so always they will come to the shape of the container easily because Understand? They can move the positions always. They don't have a fixed positions. Understand? Like that, if it comes to the volume, suppose one liter of water I have poured in different kind of four beakers, four set of beakers. So is it that volume one liter is changing every time? Is it only one vol one liter only it is present? Every time? One liter only. One liter only present. Understand? So as we know that the force is less compared to the solids, but it is not negligible. Understanding. So it is not negligible. So that understanding, they have always fixed volume. So if you observe in these four beakers, all of you, four is having four different shapes. Is it yes or no? Just wait. It will come. So in these containers, if you observe, four containers is having four different shapes, but. What is getting the shape of the beaker, shape of the tumbler, shape of the conical plus, or else like shape of the flat bottom plus? But volume, suppose, let me take one liter of volume. So in this, I will pour one liter only, in this also one liter only, in this also one liter only, in this also one liter only. So means in the sense of what? So the particles you can see, they, they don't have a fixed positions of particles, understanding. So that is why they can go, upper particle can go down, down particles can come up like that, they can displace, understanding, easily. So compared to the solids, they have less intermolecular forces, but the volume is always fixed, understanding. So we can say that a liquids having a fixed volume, but no kind of fixed shape, understand? So this is the first experiment which to show that liquids do not have a fixed shape, but they have a fixed volume. So this four beakers is enough for us. Is it yes or no? Yes? yes so yes, sir. four beakers, four different shapes. So we can say that they don't have, uh, water is not having a, means liquid is not having a fixed shape. Understand? But we can say that, Understand, it takes the shape of the container whenever you, whenever you are keeping in different containers. But if it comes to here, this water, understanding, uh, into the original beaker, we will find that water fills the beaker up to the same mark everywhere. Understand? If it comes to the three different kind of glass tumbler, conical flask, and the flat bottom, bottom flask, every whatever the water you pour, it will bring it to the, understanding, normal beaker, which we can use to measure. So every time, it is coming to the same mark, means in the sense of, they have fixed volume or not? They have fixed volume or not? Yes, sir. So now let us see, for example, so I have poured this water, this water I have poured in this beaker, so it is coming here one red mark. Do you understand one red mark here? Yes? Yes, sir. I have poured this conical flask water, again the water is coming into this red mark, and this flat bottom bottomed flask understanding this also coming to the red mark means in the sense of understanding so it is having a fixed volume or not it is having fixed volume or not yes or no they don't have a fixed shape but they have fixed volume do you understand amma they have yes, sir. Volume. understand so that is what you should remember so if we'll pour it into the different containers, they will get the different shape, but the fixed volume. So from this, we can say that, for example, water we have taken as a substance. Water has a fixed volume, which does not change on changing the container. But in generally, we can say that a liquid has a, that is why we can say liquid having what? Liquid is having what? A fixed volume, a fixed volume but no fixed shape no fixed shape that is what you should remember now coming to the density density all of you coming to the density density of the liquids is less or more compared to the solids density of the liquid so basically density of the liquids understand is less than solids 
is less than solids. That is what you should remember. So compared to the solid density, the liquid density is less. Again, why? Again, the same thing. Because, understand, less closely packed. What we can say? Less closely packed so that only they have less density. Do you understand, Amma? Now, if you if you keep it on your floor or on surface, not in a container, they will start flowing or not? Liquids can flow or not. For example, water. Yes, sir. Water. Water can flow or not? Water. Yes, sir. Can yes. flow, sir. Water can flow. Like any kind of liquids. Again, the same thing. So they can flow. They can flow because again, what? Less understanding. Less closely packed. Closely packed means the sense of they have understanding. They have enough spaces enough, enough space compared to the solids they have enough spaces between the particles between the particle so that what will happen they can easily can move because less interparticle forces because of what Ra? less inter less interparticle particle force forces yeah. Understand can easily move. That is the reason behind. Compared to the solids, they have less density, but spaces are more and intermolecular forces are less. So from this I can say one thing. Is it intermolecular forces and spaces? They are directly proportional or inversely proportional to each other. Means one is increasing, one is decreasing. Or both are increasing, both are decreasing. Suppose the spaces is increasing, the space is increasing between the particles. So that attraction, force of attraction is decreasing or increasing? Force decreasing, sir. Inversely proportional. Inversely proportional to each other. Suppose you can take solids. You can take solids. So solids, particles are very, very closely packed. So that the space is less. The space is less. Solids less. are directly yeah. proportional. Yeah. Inter no, solids not produce anything, any substance. If space is decreasing, then the force of attraction is increases. Understand? Force of attraction. Force okay, of attraction sir. is increases. Solid or liquid or gas doesn't matter. Increases when spaces between the particles is less. Spaces, understand? Uh, spaces between the between the particles is less. Now, suppose if the space is increasing, what will happen? If the space is increasing, like so liquids, for example, compared to the solids, then space is much more, so that force of attraction is less. Understand? If, if forces keep on increasing more, so the force of attraction is less. Do you understand? All of you? Yes, sir. That is what about yes, the properties of liquids. Understand? So this, in this way, we can conclude the properties of liquids understand so and also if you observe in the same picture kindly you observe so i have filled one liter for example i am saying i have filled one liter of water in this every container one liter of water i have i have filled every container is it they are occupying complete uh, complete uh, means full full container or only till there here notice it same one liter one liter i have filled is it they occupied full container no is it yes or no they are not occupying full container. Yes or no? So here also you can see they are not occupying full container. Only they are containing, they are occupying only they are according to their volume. So here you, here you can see more empty space is there. Means in the sense of what? Liquids cannot occupy the, understanding, cannot occupy completely. Understanding? They cannot occupy the space of container. They do not fill container completely. That is what you should remember. Liquids, liquids, cannot fill, understand, they cannot fill its container. So actually I have shown you, understanding in the last class also, while I'm teaching, suppose, for example, I will fill the water till here. Is it automatically it will occupy the full the full bottle? Is it, it will occupy the full bottle? No. If I pour till here, water will be till here only. Till here, here only. Till here, here only. Remaining space they cannot occupy by themselves. Is it yes or no? So that is why this liquid cannot fill its container. Understand? So that is why we can say that 
they have fixed volume or not they have a they have a what fixed volume do you understand volume. they have a fixed volume not fixed shape so this is all about the properties of liquids so what happens samya you are very excited so this is what this is what about the properties of liquids so now already the time is 8 o'clock so with this i am stop because we have to get ready for our school classes correct so thank you all so next we will meet okay thank you sir thank, thank you sir yeah thank you sir yeah thank you thank you sir